Hi, I am Brooke Shields, and I'm gonna take you through my beauty routine and then my makeup routine. First of all, the Botanicals Cleanser. I put it in my hand like this. I'm not afraid to put it everywhere. I like this cleanser because it gets all the dirt. It doesn't have any residue, but it also is really gentle on my skin. I used to use really harsh cleansers because I thought that that was ideal to strip the first layer of skin off. And now as I've gotten older and I don't have as much elasticity in my skin, I realized that I need to be more gentle. It's another thing I used to do when I was younger is just rub my face and just, I was really brutal on my skin as a kid. Cause I had to wear so much makeup and I was always taking my makeup off. As I got older, if I don't have to wear makeup, I don't. <laughs> it's called Droplet, and it's like this little egg thing, and you put the little capsule. This is um, collagen. It's a little collagen thing. You push this down, and then you push this side. It penetrates the skin, supposedly. I just love the ritual of it. I love getting facials. I love anything that's pampering, and I'll try almost anything. <laughs> just because I think it's just so much fun to just try new treatments and, and play. And I haven't found one that is this the end all be all, but I'm always trying new ones. This is Lumify Eye Drops. My eyes get really red and they get really puffy. I never really spent a great deal of time on my skin or my face because it was a job to me. So I the minute I would get finished with a job or work, I would just want all the makeup off my face. And my mom would always say just soap and water and moisture. I, I really didn't prioritize as much as I should have. It didn't become a personal choice until later on in life when I started appreciating the ritual of it, the products, um, and really just sort of my skin needed it, you know, this 56 year old skin. So I always say everything's a little lower than it used to be. Next thing that I love to do is wear an eye patch. I had these on yesterday for about an hour. <laughs> it all shriveled up. The first product that I put on my skin is the Chipula Active Serum. Just really sinks into my skin so well. and Chibula is a very, very powerful antioxidant for the skin. Phytoretinol Vitamin A Booster. Little tiny capsules. When I've used retinol in the past, I've gotten really irritated and, and sort of dry and almost flaky, and it just feels really harsh, but this is a much kinder way of using retinol, and you can use it in the day. A lot of people use retinol at night, I've gotten much more conscious of using cleaner products and I've noticed that my skin actually recognizes these products and really absorbs them more than almost most other products. I'm gonna take these off now. I used to not do this either because I just felt like, oh, what's the point? But the circulation that I feel when I roll really does, like if you can tell, there's like a pinker quality to my skin and I feel like it's waking up my face, waking up my skin. Honestly, when I was younger, I tried many different things, you know, no dairy, no this, no that. I, I did cut out red meat for about 13 years. Um, and since I've gotten older, I've just, I've sort of reintroduced everything. Just, I've, I've just listened to my cravings. If I'm preparing for something, I just have to cut out the, the alcohol. I mean, that's, that's probably the worst thing that I do for my skin. <laughs> it definitely dehydrates me. My moisturizer is the Extreme Cream. I love thick, delicious creams. And I like to warm it up, just warm it up a little bit. I did get a Fraxel once to take care of um, sun damage and sunspots or brown spots. This last time that I did it, I, she must have raised the, the frequency or something. And I had a, a movie screening to go to that night. 
and I totally forgot that I had had this done, but my face blew up and I saw Daniel Craig and I, I'm a fan, I ran up to him. <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind is how many times I get asked if I'm Rachel Weiss and what a flattering thing that was to me, but I decided to tell him that while I looked like I had a blown up pizza face. <laughs> He looked at me like I was crazy and I was just horrified. So that was a funny moment. My last step of skincare, it's Super Goop Glow Screen and it's SPF. This one's got a little tint to it. I wish that I had worn more sunscreen as a kid. You know, I was from the era of you put baby oil and you put tin foil around a record and you hold it like this and you just try to get all the sun that you can get, which is terrible for you. And I have two little girls who are redheads and I am constantly applying sunscreen to their beautiful, sweet skin. This is my favorite. It's a lip sleeping mask. I feel glowy. I feel refreshed. I feel ready. The crazy thing about makeup is that because I've been a model since I was 11 months old, I never paid attention to when my makeup was being done because my makeup was done always by other people. So I never really figured out how to do it myself um, because it was always done for me. So this little machine is amazing. Instead of using a liquid foundation and a brush, it's an airbrush machine. I mixed the two of them because there's this one and one's a little bit lighter. You put a drop in here, put a drop of this one in, which is a little bit of a darker color. I mix the two of them, a couple of drops in there. You can sort of see that it just takes away the readiness, but it's kind of even, even coverage. And then sometimes I just a little bit I brush it. I don't, I don't like brushing it too much you know, kind of pat it in, but it really just covers it much more smoothly, I think. A little bit of concealer and I use my fingers. Moving on to the eyes. I like this, it's the Urban Decay Naked palette. So I do a little bit of this. And then I like to take Pinker too, mix those. I love this OG bronzer stick, and I like to just put a little bit here. I think there was a very heavy hand in the 80s, and then I feel like makeup has gotten more theatrical, and liner and contouring seem to be really forward in the sort of culture, this sort of complete overhaul feels like that's, it's much more theatrical now. And for me, it's always been sort of less is more, but for modeling, it was always fun to have extreme looks just because you would never really wear them, you know, out. <laughs> Obviously I went to school and didn't wear makeup when I went to school. My daughters, um, especially my younger one, has full on liner cat eye almost every day. This is Ilya. I love color stick and I love just putting it like just here. Eyelashes. So this is Thrive. I was always wearing waterproof mascara and I realized that it was harder to take off and I was sort of losing my eyelashes and I used that Grand Lash MD, the serum thing to, and it really works, it's helped them grow back. But now I'm obsessed with this tubular because it just comes off with water. That's a trick I do, dry them up. I can never have too much mascara on. There's something about mascara that I am crazy about. <laughs> this is Maybelline. Uh, my lips have gotten a little thinner since I've gotten older. So I kind of go on the outside of my lip now. I just like a gloss. This is Laura Mercier. And now it's time for the brows. It's a very thin liner and I like to just sort of fill in, but I've noticed some of my lashes have gotten gray, which is another wonderful addition. 
lights. If they're too dark, I can look a little crazy. Okay, now this little wax, I'm gonna put a couple of drops, take a brush, and you kind of smoosh it around and get a little bit of this wax on the brush. And the best part about it is it doesn't dry crunchy and it's not greasy. When Way Bandy would do my makeup, you know, in the early 80s, it was always so extreme. Cosmo covers were always very, very augmented. Everything was, the hair was big and the makeup was intense and, and it was fun, you know, but I would then take it all off and have to go do my homework. So this is like a highlighter. It really makes me feel like my eyes are smarting up and bright. This is the Nutrient Mist, also from True Botanicals. And I like to end with a mist because it kind of makes my skin glow a little bit more. Everybody's always asking me if this is my real hair. <laughs> and I'm like, you can pull it. <laughs> but I've been very, very lucky with my hair because so much has been done to it and it has been so many different colors. This is the final look. Thank you for spending time with me and thank you for listening. Bye.